Hi, everybody. Welcome to Edmonton, Alberta. He's Ray Ferraro. I'm James Sabalski. This has been played out in driveways, dead ends, back alleys, game seven. This is it. I was wondering where else you played. This is it. This is the most important game these guys likely will ever play. We are just seconds away now from puck drop. The quest for Lord Stanley's mug continues right here tonight, and we are underway. Pokes it away to stay on the attack. And he loses both the puck and his balance after that hit. Enters the offensive zone from the left. And that one's broken up. Puck grabbed by McDavid. Nugent Hopkins looks around. Here's a chance. Spectacular stop by the goaltender. How did he hang on to that? Nice move by the goalie to get out close to the shooter. Gains the zone from the right side. Slides the puck over to Pugliarvi. The Oilers have it now. From the left side, he moves it up ahead. McDavid's moving it ahead. Moves the puck across to Pugliarvi. Good heads up play in the defensive zone. DeMello's taking it from his own end. Quick pass to Shifley. Out front from the slot. Wrist shot and a strong effort on that play. Sometimes you're in close. There's no room to put it anywhere. The goalie smothered it all. Pokes it away here in the neutral zone. Feeds it to Stastny. Quick feed to Line. Edmonton's gained possession along the boards. From the left side, takes it at center. The Jets get a hold of the puck in their own end. Moves it to Pionk. Slides it over to Stastny. Tries to make a move and can't hang on to the puck. There are times you try to do too much. He's got good hands, but maybe a more simple play is the right one there. Slides the puck across to Bear. Good defensive effort to poke it away. There's a shot. Makes the save. Still plenty of time left in this frame. Still looking for our first goal. Torres is quick on the draw. Moves the puck. And now it's grabbed by Torres. Takes the feed. Edmonton's got the puck against the wall. He scores! I don't think anybody's really settled into the game yet. Already we have the game's first goal. Bang-bang play. The goalie's not going to catch up to this one, James. He's looking behind the net where the puck is. Everybody else forgets about the, what's in front of the net. That's the dangerous player. Edmonton's got a 1-0 lead, and they've got their crowd on their feet here. Early on, the entertainment is here. Early lead for the home team. The first goal in the first five minutes, and now you push for another. Slides the puck over. And that one's turned away. Assisted by number 63, Tyler Ennis. And by number 82, Caleb Jones. Edmonton's offense is off to a good start here in the early goings. 48 seconds. Back underway as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. That opportunity is rejected. There's another stop. Quick work. He makes one and two saves in a row. I wanted another look at this one. I'm sure you guys were all impressed as I was. What a save by the goalie. Karras won the draw. And now it's over to Larson. Can't find his man. Play is blown dead. We've got a penalty on the way. Pullman's getting two for hooking. It doesn't take very long to get on the wrong side of the play. You're a step behind. You've got to slow that guy down. You can't catch him. Maybe you can get away with a hook. Not here. Just tried to play catch up and got burned. And the man advantage unit comes out to go to work. Coaches always talk about the importance of excellent special teams. 
You don't necessarily have to score, but you can gain some momentum. Hellebuck's on top of the puck, and that'll stop the play. Pretty conservative play here, James, as he covers it up to kill the play. Lots of hockey left to be played in this period. The Oilers have taken a 1-0 lead. Nugent Hopkins wins it in the offensive zone. Stopped with ease. Trying to clear the puck from his own end. And a nice job by the Killers on that one. Yeah, now they can get a change, get some fresh players on the ice. Down the right side and into the zone. Kind of lost control for a second there, but regains possession. And a penalty coming up as the official blows the play dead. The Jets have been handed two minutes for hooking. As soon as he stops skating, he has to reach out with his stick parallel to the ice. It's going to get called most every time. Special teams back out onto the ice, and it's a five-on-three man advantage as the puck gets set to be dropped. Hey, they say greed is good. Get one, get two on a five-on-three power play. Puck clear from the defensive end. From their own end, trying to kickstart this power play. And now he tries to get it across to McDavid. Takes the pass. The blocker saved by Hillebuck. Again, the denial by the goaltender. Oh, he followed the puck really well there. A couple of good stops. Oh, and a misfire as that goes right out of the zone. Tries to get this man advantage going from their own end now. And he slides it quickly to Nugent Hopkins. Snapper from the slot. Tremendous read as he pokes it away with the paddle. Puck picked up by McDavid. Denies him on the play. And the goaltender covers things up. All sorts of frantic action in front of the net. Yeah, everybody's scrambling around trying to help. What's happening is everybody's getting out of position. They needed some help. They got it from the goaltender. The Oilers have had way more chances offensively, and as a result, they're leading in this one. Edmonton's got it in the offensive zone. And the lane's clogged up blocking that. And they'll get it out of the defensive end. The Oilers gain control of the puck against the wall. Pugliarvi swooping in on the attack. Makes a move, and the puck hops away from him. Made the stop on the play. Save is good. Better yet that that rebound doesn't stay in front of the net. It's over to safety in the corner. Receives the pass. From the right wing, he moves it to the middle. Here's a shot, and there's the save. Koskinen simply going to slow it down here. Ray, do you like the strategy? I do, but he hasn't touched the puck much this period, James, so you get to handle it a little bit here and maybe a little nervous, so you jump on it and get to reset. Inching closer to the midway mark of this period. We've got a 1-0 hockey game thus far. Edmonton's won the faceoff deep in their own end. Now a quick pass to Yamamoto. Pokes the puck away. Winnipeg's moving it along the wing. All alone! What a stop on the breakaway! He waits for the first move, lets the shooter make it, and then shuts it down. Stastny's got it along the boards. Winnipeg's got it in the neutral zone. No quarter given here as they battle for the loose puck along the boards. Edmonton's got it behind the net. Here's a short pass to Kara. Not able to connect. Here's a shot. Too much congestion in front. Made the stop on that play. Hellebuck's able to make the save, as we see here. This is a good scoring chance, but he's in good position. The Oilers have been the better team in this first period. More scoring opportunities, and as a result, more goals. Swoops in off the wing to grab the puck after the centerman tied him up. Grabbed along the board by Russell. Moves it quickly over to Larson. Pass to Chase on. Oh, he'd like to have that pass back. From the left side, they gain the zone. And as he stumbles, he coughs up the puck. Quick pass to Cassian. Looking to make something happen in the offensive zone. And makes the save. More than half the frame has been played here. The Oilers lead it 1-0. 
Arturis has won the draw. Takes a wrist shot and scores! Well, the momentum is clearly switched now, James. Back-to-back -back goals for them. Oh, he's got his head up, so he's going to pick the spot here, and he goes through the legs. Goalies hate getting scored on in the five hole. Edmonton's got some breathing room now with two-thirds of this opening frame played through. They lead by two. You can use all of your bench now. You've got a couple of goal lead, but don't back off. Still stay aggressive. Takes the bump, but still hangs on to the puck. Made the save on the play. Good battle along the boards for the puck. Trying to get back on the attack now. Great defensive effort with the strip. And he comes up with it. Well, what a quick reflex stop that is. Great scoring chance. Edmonton's capitalizing their offensive abilities here in this first period. Thompson's won the faceoff. And now he angles it across to Roslovic. Nice stick work to knock the puck loose. The Jets scoop it up along the boards. And tries to make a diagonal pass to Roslovic. And now he moves it to Perot. From the right side, he goes to the middle of the neutral zone. The Oilers look to start the transition game. And they fail to go tape to tape. Knocks the puck away in the open ice. Picked up along the boards by Neal. Sends it deep inside the offensive zone. Appleton's lugging the puck. Big time hit against the boards. Tell me this, what would you rather take, against the wall or against the open ice? Oh, no, I want it up against the wall, but you got to get close. If you're a foot or two away, you bounce like a basketball. Big collision. Smart defensive play here in the open ice. Scooped up along the wall by Nurse. From behind his own net. Through the neutral zone, up along the wing. Solid hit on the play, and that knocks the puck off his stick. The Jets take possession in the neutral zone. Puck scooped up by Chason. And a nice poke check inside the neutral zone. Cuts to the front! Koskinen's on top of that one for a whistle. Little bit of traffic starting to form around the net. Those are the saves that are gifts from the goaltender. That looked like an automatic goal. He's able to make the stop. Here in the back half of this period, the Oilers lead this one 2 zip. The Jets win it. And now he moves it quickly to Connor. Handles the puck. That's intercepted. The Oilers have done a good job with their sticks, intercepting passes, yet they haven't been able to stretch this game out. Winnipeg's got the puck against the half wall. Comes up with a big pad save to deny. No room for the shooter. The goaltender snuffed it out. Koskinen's done nice work here on this scoring chance to turn it aside. The Oilers have been the better team in this first period. More scoring opportunities, and as a result, more goals. That's a smart read with the two centermen tied up. The Oilers are in transition. Oh, smart heads up play to put that one away. Nothing doing on that. Steps into wow. it. Scores. Three is the magic number. Man, that goalie is getting just torched down there. Three in a row here. I don't think the goaltender gets a look at this at all, James. He just drops into the butterfly. He's hoping the thing hits him through that traffic. Edmonton's been the better team here in this first period, and as a result, they've got a big lead. And with the two centers tangled up, the winger skates away with it. And he totally whiffs on that one. Can't connect. And he's ridden off the puck. The Jets have it against the wall. Quick 
pass across to Line. And now it's over to Stastny. And tries to make a diagonal pass to Morrissey. Here they come inside the neutral zone. Quick feed to Stastny. Shot, denies him in front. Winnipeg's got the puck along the wall. And it's a quick pass to Cahoon. Through center along the wing. Moves it to Cahoon. And he's taken down the official's arm, signaling for a penalty. And the play is whistled dead, and here's the call. So often in a, in a shifty little play, the, you're trying to get to the puck, you get your stick in the wrong spot, he steps on your stick, and there's nothing you can do. As they step into the face-off circle, let's see if they can take advantage on this power play. I always felt on the power play, the first one was really important for any team. If you stumble around on the first power play, guys start to press as you get more and more of them through the game. Winnipeg's got the puck against the boards. Officials blowing the play dead. We've got a penalty on the way here. Jones is off to the box, hooking the call. There's certain plays, as soon as they happen, the red flag goes up for the official. Stick goes across the player's waist. He's looking for hooking. The game has become better since they've cracked down on obstruction, Ray. Centers glide into the face-off dot, and a huge five-on-three power play looms. The coaches were talking to the power play about don't be too cautious. Get the puck on goal early. The Jets gain possession along the wall. Here's a short pass to Pionk. And now he tries to get it across to Wheeler. Takes the feed. Comes up with the stop. The Oilers have capitalized on their scoring opportunities and lead comfortably here late in the first. Takes possession off the draw. The Oilers move the puck in the defensive zone. And a successful clearing attempt. Retrieves the puck trying to kickstart this power play. Stasty's got it across the line. And a delayed penalty coming up as he got tripped up. There's the whistle and the official set to give the call. The Oilers don't like it, but they'll serve two in the penalty box. I always found this a frustrating penalty to take. There's really no aggression to it. You're trying to steal the puck, but you end up clipping the guy down. They'll get set to go to work with a five on three. What a game of cat and mouse. This becomes five on three. Power plays looking for the perfect play. Penalty killers are trying to deny the puck everywhere. Winnipeg's got a hold of it along the wall. Snaps it on net. Stones him in front. Taken along the wall by Shifley. Here's the chance to set up now. And that goes off a player. And they can't convert to the play. Settles things down and gets control of it once again. And they get some breathing room as the puck leaves the defensive end. Wheeler's got it in the offensive zone. The Oilers will try to shave a few seconds off this penalty now. Looking to set up offensively. Works it across to Shifley. Connor swinging the puck through center ice. Moves it quickly over to Shifley. Another stop by the goaltender. Quick reflexes. You make one, you make two stops before the puck is cleared away. And manages to clear the zone. Winnipeg's got a hold of it against the wall. Gaining momentum along the wing. Edmonton's got just a few seconds left here with the puck. Gets it out of his own end. Takes a hit, he goes down to the ice and coughs up the puck. Takes a moment behind the net. And as both teams are now back at even strength, the power play goes over on the opportunity. How's that penalized player comes out of the penalty box? He can give a nod down to his penalty killing unit. They did their job. Outstanding work. Fans tonight, the home team bluff is dropping $50 gift certificates to Delvin. Proud sponsor of tonight's game. With 70 stores and 14 restaurants, Delvin has it all. And while both teams get a refresher, we'll take one ourselves heading into the second period.
Both teams had a chance to recharge. And the official set to drop the puck here on period number two. This neutral zone faceoff set to go, and we are back underway. Smart heads up play to intercept the pass with the stop. Hellebuck's taken away all of the rebound possibilities by putting that puck in the corner. Maintains possession. Right in the slot. Rister, big save. But he came out and challenged him. Good save. Edmonton's working the transition through the middle of the ice. Let's it fly. Misses over the net. Edmonton's got the puck along the boards. Strong defensive effort. Edmonton's ready to go on the attack. Picked up along the wall by Wheeler. Slides the puck to Connor. And that one's picked off. Scores! He stayed with it and buries the rebound. That's a good play. It's a goal scorer's play. You shoot the puck and follow your shot. He gets a little lucky that it comes right back to him, but he makes no mistake. Edmonton's performance has to have their coach smiling down the bench, Ray. What are you seeing? I guess he smiled a little bit. Coaches never relax, but how could he not be pleased with this? They're running a shutout, and they're running up the score at the other end. Winnipeg's got a hold of the puck. Quick feed to Ehlers. The Jets take it along the wall. The Oilers get a hold of the puck along the boards. Through the open ice, they're picking up steam. Jostled off the puck. Edmonton's gained possession along the boards. Coughs up the puck after that hit. Scrum along the boards. The Oilers gain control of the puck against the wall. Move to the middle. Wrist shot from the slot. Turn that chance aside. Sharp reaction save. McDavid's point streak has been a thing to behold. You start to get superstitious on a run. You do everything the same. You wear the same suit all the time. The Oilers have generated a lot of pucks on net and have turned more than a few of those shots into goals. And he slides it quickly to Kopp. Pumps the puck away. Taken by Ennis. Quick pass to Neal. Stopped by the goaltender. The Jets scoop it up along the boards. Slides the puck across to Kopp. Couldn't complete the play. Quick pass over to Ennis. Tosses it on to Appleton. Strong defensive effort. Offside is the call, and we'll have a face-off just outside the offensive zone. The Oilers have put a lot of pucks on net, and they continue to lead here early in the second. Winnipeg's won the draw in the neutral zone. They go on the attack through center. Good defensive stop with the poke check. Made the stop on the play. Koskinen's school tending at one end, and the offensive output at the other has made for a good night. Quick feed to Larson. Nice pass. Moves it around along the half wall. They fight for it along the boards. The Jets have it against the wall. Along the side, here they come through the neutral zone. And a poke check knocks the puck away. The Oilers take possession here in the open ice. Stopped by the goaltender. Koskinen's been perfect so far. He's kind of doing this all by himself. So busy, and he's been phenomenal tonight. Lots of time left in this period. Edmonton's been the better team, and the scoreboard reflects it. They lead it 4-0. Thompson's won it in their own end. They gain the offensive zone from the middle. Nice poke check. He grabs the puck here at the point. And too much traffic in front blocks that one. Moves it to Nugent Hopkins. Big play inside the defensive zone. Oh, what a stop by Hillebuck. I like the goalie's positioning here. He was aggressive enough to make a save on a dangerous chance. And he regains control of the puck. The Oilers gain possession along the wall. Through the neutral zone now, picking up steam. Sends the pass Whoa. over. He scores! That's how you do it! Leadership to a T! The captain capitalizes!
This is a terrific shot. He beats the goaltender, but the goalie gets a chunk of it. Not enough. He can't slow it up. The Jets are going to make a change in goal. You ever wonder in a blowout why the goalie leaving skates way faster than the guy coming in? The Oilers seem to be on the cusp of turning this one into a rout, Ray. They're playing at a different level than their opponents. It doesn't look like there's anything that can slow them down. Puck is dropped and play resumes. Here's a short pass to Jones. Puck exits the zone. Moves it quickly over to Ennis. Putting the hard hat on here. What a hit. Quick pass to Puglia. That pass goes a little sideways. Takes a whack, but still hangs on. Sends a pass over. From point blank range, a rocker off the blocker. Takes a couple of knocks and loses control. Puck grabbed by Jones. Nice poke check inside the attacking zone. Here's a chance. Stopped by the blocker. Big save by the goaltender once again. After the first stop, he's in good position to make a second. And now it's grabbed by Neal. Backtracks with possession back inside the defensive zone. Edmonton's looking to break out. Up along the wing. Winnipeg's looking to break out of their own end. Takes it into the slot. Oh, he stops him with the glove. Great reflexes there. Pretty good shot. The goalie's able to get the blocker up on it and put it outside. The Oilers lead in a big way here in this second. They have been on fire offensively. The Jets win the faceoff. Let's the wrister fly. Big time shot block there. Cahoon stick handling in his own zone. Feeds the puck to Yamamoto. Taken by Morrissey. Slides it across to DeMello. Sent into the offensive zone. And has got the puck along the wall. Quick feed to Larson. And now they look to make something happen from the neutral zone. Larson's going to play it against the half wall. And that one's broken up. Chase on's on the attack in the offensive zone. Right in the slot. Stick save. Somehow the shooter got loose in the slot, but... The goaltender's equal to the task. That's a good save. Brassois able to handle that scoring chance like it's nothing. He makes a stick save on it. Still lots of time left in the period. The Oilers all over them tonight. They lead it 5-0. Nice start winning the draw here inside the offensive zone. Dismiss that chance. Moves it to Appleton. Here's a chance. Through the neutral zone, moving the puck along the side. Sends it across. Big time stop there. Centering pass. Winnipeg's got the puck in their own end. And he slides it quickly to Appleton. Moves the puck. Here's a chance in front. Turns it away. Russ Watts made an excellent stop here. He follows the puck and shuts down the scoring chance. The Oilers have been putting lots of shots on net and have been rewarded for their efforts. And as the puck is dropped, they win the draw here inside the defensive zone. The Oilers take it across the blue line. Here's a chance! Stopped by the goaltender. Past the midway mark of the frame, Edmonton's put on a smothering offensive performance. They lead it 5-0. The Oilers win the draw. The Jets look to start the transition game. Pokes it away in his own end. Big time hit. Puck battle along the boards. 
Edmonton's got it in their own zone. Couldn't connect on that pass. There's the whistle. Offside is the call. Stopping the play. Nurse is able to use a really good angle to cut the ice off, and he lays a solid hit against the board. Edmonton's done a nice job of generating pucks on net, and as a result, they lead here in the second. The Oilers want to continue this domination into the second intermission. It's been a great first half. Wheeler's got it against the boards. Solid check to slow him down. The Oilers move it in. Excellent stick work on the play. Winnipeg's got a hold of it along the wall. Grabbed along the boards by Dreisaitl. Lifts the stick and takes the puck. Stopped by the goaltender. Aggressive stop out on top of the crease to make the save on a dangerous chance. The Jets take it along the wing. Handles the puck from the left side. Takes a shot and makes the save. Slides it over with pace to Dreisaitl. Edmonton's across the blue line. Moves right to the middle. Snaps one on net, and that one's broken up. Great block there. Jabs the puck away. And now he angles it across to Ehlers. Feeds the puck over to Russell. Looks to pass it to Cassian. From center, they get into the attacking area. Winnipeg's got control of it now from their own end. Here's a short pass to Stastny. And couldn't find the intended receiver on that one. Fires it into the offensive zone. The Jets will play the puck from behind the net. Moves it quickly over to Kopp. Puck knocked loose in the neutral zone. Quick pass to Lowry. Wrist one in front. Way too much congestion blocks that. Edmonton's got the puck in the defensive end. Quick feed to Neal. Dumps it in. Winnipeg's got a hold of it against the wall. Now a quick pass to Appleton. Here they come up along the wing. Moves it to Appleton. Rocks him on the play. Here's a short pass to Ennis. The Oilers carry it along the wall. Shot in front. Great save from in tight. Smothered that in close chance. Takes the feed in the middle of the ice. The Oilers gain control of it. Slides it diagonally to Pugliarvi. Puck picked up by Roslovic. Stays with it. From the right side and up the middle. Moves it quickly over to Pugliarvi. And we've got a two-on-one. Moves inside. Denied that one. Swan's right on top of this scoring chance. Nowhere for the puck to go. Edmonton's been an impressive club to watch tonight, especially offensively, as they lead big here late in the second. Puck is dropped, and we are back underway. Pullman's got it in the defensive end. Puck set in deep, and they'll change things up on the back end. Bears got it in the defensive zone. Pokes the puck away. And he'll retreat inside his own end. Puck scooped up by McDavid. And it's kicked away. The Oilers will play it from the defensive zone. Edmonton's got the puck along the boards. With some open space at center. Good check. Frees the puck up. Move to the middle. Oh, the puck doesn't get there. It's so crowded in front of the goaltender. And here's the pass to Connor. Along the half wall with the puck. Quick pass to DeMello. The Jets played along the boards. Quick feed to Morrissey. Takes the feed. And it comes up with the save. In the final moments of this period, the Oilers came to play, and boy, did they ever, leading 5-0. And momentum on their side as they win the draw here inside the offensive zone. Played big in the moment there. Big stop by the keeper. Cost 
Raskin is able to make the save on that slapper. Man, he walked right into it, but the goalie's equal to the task. Edmonton's up for good reason. They have been the more complete team offensively, which is why they lead late in the second. Nice job tying up his opponent. Puck grab by Yamamoto. The Oilers take it across the line. Moves it to Yamamoto. Club save, and the play continues. Picked up along the boards by Stastny. Line A's got it through the neutral zone. Good defensive effort to poke it away. One-timer, and with just seconds to spare, they get a goal here to close things out. You gotta look at it from both ways. That's a real kick in the pants for the team that gave up the goal. But what a boost of energy for them to score this late in the period. Oftentimes, the goalie will drop in the butterfly, take the chance that he's got everything covered. Not so here. This is up over the glove. It's a beautiful shot. The Jets needed that one as they get back to center ice. They need a lot more than that. It's really been a poor performance by them so far. Puck has dropped, and we are back underway. Scored by number 25. Oh, 15. By number 88. There's the horn ending period number two. I'm not sure they wanted it to end. Time of the goal, 19 minutes, 56 seconds. Don't go anywhere. The third period is just moments away.